guys uh, welcome back to this channel so let me show you how i'm currently running in profit in a trade that is exactly like this so this should be my stop loss and then as we can see uh, there is some imbalance here which means that uh, i can take my trade somewhere here so one hour has already closed so somewhere just below here because this this trade is going to I'm expecting it to run until Monday so I can have a small a relatively tighter stop loss because I know that uh, on Monday we may have uh, some small jumps so a 1 to 5 is not bad so let's see this is the checklist that I'm, I've used I don't mark so many things now this is SMC and that is why I'm introducing uh, I'm having very few markings like this so this is an smc strategy that uh, have been summarized from all my trading styles so as you can see the market starts to move and then uh, this there's a jump there this is now on monday the trade is not activated so now it is activated immediately it's activated so activation happened there that is where activation happened so it could have happened there and goes out without me and then we get another we get another close we get another close on our direction so this is the following day so you can still do the same thing this is the gun box this should be your stop loss and then entry entry should be just the the somewhere somewhere entry can be this is stop loss so we can have our entry just at this imbalance same to it is similar to this we can equally have there's an imbalance here which we expect to be filled so you can add multiple positions so this should be our entry and then we target at least a one to six like i always say my preference is one to six so let's see if this will be obtained so we can all have one TP like this, but now this one will be trailing and then we let the market flow. So hopefully that one is tagged too and then the market moves. Now I'm going to show you a similar trade exactly like this. I was back testing and therefore uh, I found this to be interesting uh, because it is exactly similar to what I took. I'm doing some back test here. So that is why i said let me shoot a video about it because it's the strategy is the same now the trade i'm talking about is this trade here you can see that this one i placed it and uh, it triggered on monday uh, i'm going to show you towards the end of this video now it is still running and at the same time i'm also going to show you the entry this entry here this second entry you can always take if you like to stack in multiple order and you can see this is nice one to twelve and if you still wanted to stack more orders which now i don't recommend is you would wait for london session to open and then at least at least two hours should be closing in our direction so this is london open so you can check that one two candles have already closed in our direction so anything that retests so you can take your gun chart this is the high of the candle and then this should be the low where this red candle is that is where the low of the previous candle and then you take your trade just slightly on the half or slightly below half like that stop loss here and then we target the same thing uh, this would have gave like a 1 to 10 if you wanted to stack more trade at the same time the following day the strategy recommends that you keep trading until you are wrong at the same time this is the following day i'll explain this why you can add more positions so this should be the trade and then this is london this is london open but uh, we don't get two two there are two red candles just before us so it means that we can't take this trade we wait until two candles close in our direction so this is one two one hour then we take our gun back gun box and then map it like that so this should be our stop loss and our entry should be somewhere here so you can have it at, the, at, at there or this should be the stop loss seven pip stop loss and then we turn it again same area or maybe a one to six if i never hit a one to six if if at all it triggered 
unless you wanted to take it slightly below here and uh, the trade missed you if you wanted it to be a one to six so it means that your, your stop loss should have been relatively tighter here but as you can see this market never came back to tap it the same way it did to this the same way it did to this the same way it did to this the entry is the same the checklist is here it's an updated version very powerful and therefore uh, i recommend that you check on it so without wasting a lot of time let me break down the whole checklist so that you can see the way it's possible to get so many entries without necessarily complicating smc just being strategic so let's clear everything and start afresh so we go to we clear everything and then now start afresh so let's go to the daily time frame so that i can explain now on the daily time frame uh check something here so we were moving down if two candles closes in one direction that should be an enough indication that we are going in that direction like in this case two candles closed here it means now we are back to sell so you don't sell the following day you wait at least to see three red candles in a row so not in a row but three candles and then another condition is that you can only take trades if the previous day closed in a direction so let's take back the checklist that is the checklist we are using so like here so this one closed in our direction now after two close in our direction so you can see that at least we have one two three candles closing in our direction then we only take trades when it closes in our direction so you could have sold here and then at the same time uh, this is one two three you can still sell here and then now this day closes bullish so you don't sell you wait so you could have sold uh, you wait for this candle to close the following day to close in our direction then we look for sales here don't worry about this because the strategy will clearly will clearly not give you easy trade and if it gives you uh, it will it, uh, it may stop out obviously but that is not important so you wait again you can see after close in our direction we, we uh, after close in opposite direction because we are selling the next day we wait for close in our direction and then we sold here on Friday. This was a heavy sell. Then, as if you can count one, two, three in our direction, so you can sell here. And maybe this one doesn't work, or you don't get entry. Then the following day we get a. The following day we get a close in our direction, so you sell, hoping to take this lows. Then we get a close in our direction. Uh, we don't get a close in our direction, but you can still sell here. And then this closed opposite direction, so you, you. You wait for this candle to close in our direction so what happens it close in our direction then you sell here most probably you hit your take profit before it reversed again you can sell here so rewatch this video at this particular section so that you can understand how how this market is operating without you drawing so much things just following what the daily is doing then you move in that overall direction now again what happens here we get one two three candle closure in our direction we get three candle closure that means that uh, the market is very ripe to go bullish the market is extremely ripe to go bullish so what do we do the following day as you can see it's like this market broke structure here came back tapped into this uh, that is the overall reasoning without complicating smc so we got a break of structure here we got a break of structure here uh, on the daily time frame and then uh, after getting a break of structure we again moved we again expect this to be a break of structure now <laughs> my internet has decided that whenever i'm shooting video it must uh, it must disappoint me and uh, i think you guys just have to bear with me because that is the real part of content creation so uh, while I'm fixing it, you can just relax a little bit and absorb whatever I'm seeing. So we get again, we get a we get a candle closure. Please rewatch this video so that you can understand this thing. If you watch this thing twice, you will get it. So we get a candle break of structure above because this would be a, a, a change in character. This would be a change in character. So this would be a change of character up. Then we get second break of structure. So ideally, we are expecting that eventually we should see this high being taken. So this strategy has saved you all this reasoning 
so we are expecting this to go in future but first the market cannot go without pulling back so that is why you can see there is a pullback into this last POI and then still we don't just enter when the market taps on on uh, on the final uh, on the extreme POI like that because as you can see this market lacked liquidity in this in this leg there is lack of liquidity so that is why you can see it's extremely ranging so that it can build more momentum so when it came this side even after tapping here it never gave us too close in one direction and therefore we were still just selling expecting that maybe this would be our inducement maybe this would be our inducement but that is not our business these things are just marking and whatever the market chooses to do is what we are going to do so if it came poked into this that would be nice but that is not our business so what we do is we wait for candle to close in close in our direction sorry i'm a loo, so sometimes s and h becomes a problem so just bear with me uh this is first close in order in in the in, in opposite direction and then we get a second close a third close confirm now you can see one one day time frame closes three times in one direction or or an already trending market it closes in opposite direction followed by a close in our direction whatever i was explaining here that this is uh, close in opposite direction because we've seen that the, this market is now planning to sell this is a close in opposite direction so we wait and then when this closes we sell now when this holds you can have held you can have hold it up to this particular poi or you just take your one to six like i take one to six maximum i don't need so much of course sometimes i can swing a lot but i, I you don't need to swing that much one to four is, is, is very powerful now after this close you wait again in opposite direction then you look for trade in your direction now this is a close in opposite direction because now it is obvious that we have some imbalance here now this strategy is is made from smc and that is why in most occasion it will try to obey it will try to obey obey smc so i'm a little bit more detailed here so that you can understand so there's a fair value gap there and that is why you see after tapping this immediately started selling now people think that now now the market is going is going upward so they can keep selling but in real sense they are providing us liquidity because no two candle closure in our direction something that we needed here you see when this candle closed one two we needed we know that market is going up then again it closes one two we know that the market is still not ready to go up so we have to wait one two now the market is ready to go up and as you can see it went up so same thing we are waiting for here so if this closed bullish we would have just sold uh, bought the market and continue in that direction but since we are still selling because we don't see any two bullish close in one direction we, we just wait for the candle to close in our direction and then we you hit the sales here and take this lows again it closes in our direct in opposite direction what does it do you get your you, you wait for candle to close in a direction and then what do you do you take sales take these lows so probably took this low before going there mm. so i have back test that i can't even remember what happened here again closes in opposite direction what does it do we wait for it to close in in our direction and then we sell here like that so this day we are supposed to be buying to take this low hopefully of course we just hope but you don't need to swing that long now what we need to do this is on 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 thursday so on friday we go to four hours and start proceeding with the second checklist part of the checklist the second part of the checklist so what does the checklist say we look as you can see the market has really shifted bullish even leaving some imbalance here so that imbalance is what i think news haunted you can see there were so many news here on that lineup on that lineup week because this was the on the first week of the month so you can know that the first week of the month usd pairs are always affected by news so first alignment and closes in overall direction we wait for the first four hours aligns and the closes in overall direction so what does it mean it takes the high that means it has aligned and then and then it can close we wait for it to close so after taking if after taking the high any candle that takes the high after london or pre-london pre we will have to wait 
if first four hours alignment occurs early then we wait for london open so let's see now the first candle does not do anything the second candle closes down so i think it was haunting for this fair value gap because as you can see we have a change of character here so let's see now the other one does not close in our direction we want at least one to take the high so as you can see that does exactly that what does it do i think this was also affected this was also news that played in it so this fair value gap has already been tapped as you can see and the market was hunting for it at the same time we got an alignment here we got an alignment because this high has already been taken it even took this high so it means that there is momentum it's only that news had to look for this some some orders that were left within this imbalance so that we can take this high next and overall target the other high that i was talking about so after seeing this we have seen the first alignment has occurred and it has occurred way past london open that is why i didn't even shift one hour because no the first alignment had not occurred uh, pre london so this has occurred after uh, london session has opened so we go to one hour and start waiting so as you can see if as much as uh, there was some sort of entry at london session this was london open this was london open and you could have gotten an entry here but as you can see it was short-lived because the market was still on a bearish trend the market had not shown as its real intentions so let's proceed uh, so we apply discretion before proceeding to entry as we have already done that explaining this imbalances needed to be filled so that we can continue so apply discretion before proceeding to entry if the first four hour alignment heavily moved and left obs or supply and demand zone that should be filled now if you check this four hours alignment there is no imbalance that should be filled because the rate of this imbalance itself did not move if it moved upward then we would have wait for it to pull down so let's just go there is no much to apply on that particular four hours that has aligned so it is on the downward side so we expect this imbalances to be filled now what do we do we wait for the first one hour candle of the new four hour candle to close in your direction so let's see we get a candle closure down still the Im the imbalance is being tapped now we get a closure on our direction so after getting a closure in our direction you can have two entry options that is why we have five five entry option entry option number one enter when we get immediate one hour close in our direction meaning two we have already seen one close so if we get another close if you can be patient and wait for another one hour to close in our direction meaning two candles of one hour close in your di in our direction then you can look to take entry so i think i would i would go with that option right now since the market is way into london into into new york so as you can see we get a close on a, on our direction so two candles have already closed something that happened here you see one two so we look to enter on a retest of this and take this so if you if you entered here if you entered here on this candles close immediately this one closed the next one you enter you could have seen some profit of nearly one to one to two but it didn't happen because the market had not aligned so again here we see that there is some imbalance here that needs to be filled which makes it even high probability so we will just have to be patient we can't just take it immediately this would give us a very big stop loss so that is where now even discretion is coming in so uh, this is a scob or an imbalance you can just call it whatever you want to call it and then now after after two hours of close in our direction whatever i do i always do is uh, is uh, i mark the gun chart and then know the half of it so for those who want to have one minute two minutes five minutes entry this is now where you only wait so you wait for it to come at this at this uh, discounted zone then you buy if you want to trade on one hour you on one minute two minutes three minutes four minutes this is the zone you have to wait for the market to come so that it can give you an internal or five minute structural shift and then you move on but above everything by the time you are hitting here you would have taken your profit maybe one to six but uh, we will also just take our own i don't mind taking this because i'm preparing myself i like trading in the one minute but i'm just preparing myself for future big capital that uh, that uh, that may that i that i will want to trade i will want to trade 
of a million in capital so that means that my stop loss will be a little bit ridiculous uh, my my lot size will be extremely ridiculous if i choose to align even to one minute if one minute if you, if if price comes into this box scope area or entry box you go to one minute two minutes three minutes four minutes five minutes and look for shift or, or market structure shift or change in character inside this box you're going to get a very tight sl now since i'm expect i'm always expecting that uh, at least within the first two hours after this has formed uh, after this my one hour two hours has formed at least two hours we should see it tap into this entry alternatively if that does not happen then you can just increase tightening you can tighten your sl and then hope that it doesn't liquidate you because the other alternative will be to wait for to wait for it to tap here if it takes too long let's say it has moved up somewhere here here and then now it is coming back so if it comes back here there's high probability that you may be liquidated so just be aware of that so alternatively if it goes you can wait for it to come back and wait for the same thing one two one two close in your direction or you can go to this other entry i have so many videos explaining this other entry so this this would be the stop loss so let's say you prefer 14 pip stop loss and then this to give you a one to four so that this to give you a one to four that would be still fine so let's see the first one hour closes doesn't doesn't reach here if it reached here one within the same time it would have been very nice the second hour does not close so at this particular point you can just leave your leave your 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 trade your limit or alternatively you can even further decrease your loss because you are expecting a deeper pullback now that one does not close so you just have to be patient now you can see this happen this is now the following day open monday and it opens with a gap to the down one and then what happens now it it, keep, it picks you in so after picking you in now you are into the trade like the one you saw i showed you at the beginning of the video so at this particular entry particular point if you didn't enter you deleted your stop order you can immediately wake up but most likely it happens overnight so you may not get trade or whatever but if it happens when you're awake you can still look for for candles to close in a direction like that is the first one and then now we get the second close and then we repeat the same process take your grant chart mark from the top to where you want to place your stop loss so your stop loss should be here this market should not be violating this low so with that you can take your stop loss just slightly at this fair value gap or imbalance you can look to take it at exactly order block which most in most occasions don't get filled up unless it pulls heavily if it pulls heavily it will feel that imbalance but if it doesn't pull heavily if it, it is immediate most likely it won't pull so you just place it at the imbalance and get the entry that is why this strategy is a, is a blend of is a blend of ict ict people trade use trade entries use imbalance uh and smc mostly focus on order block so this is a hybrid because i understand both of them so this one you can look to hold for a one to a one to five this one also you can also do that but you will be trailing sl so as you can see uh, the trade taps you in and then immediately it leaves so at this particular point you can start to trail your sl so that you don't walk out of the market with nothing so you can start trailing your sl as you can see it went and hit take profit so this should have been your take profit one or immediately the market reached here for a one to four you could have rolled your stop loss to somewhere to somewhere here this is the take profit so you would have rolled your stop loss to somewhere here and at this particular point you shall have secured how much a one two three which is equally nice so that would have been the trade and that is how to trade it now let's check this is the this is the set uh, the trading checklist you can go through it uh, and backtest with it apply discretion where it is necessary so uh, let me show you the other trade uh, it was on on AUD CHF AUD CHF so AUD CHF let's let's just remove everything and see how the trade has moved so before I wind up I wind up so on my on my broker this one did not happen like this on my broker it did not happen like this 
so I was still in the trade it's only that now on oh, no wonder it has it has happened like this and I don't know why you can check in funded uh, next it did not happen like this so <coughs> that is why I said like uh, if you get a jump so you can see where my stop loss is if you get a jump so far it's running in profit over of uh, one to two so so when I woke up I looked at this I got double entry double close in my direction then I waited for this pullback to the six around six there about stop loss I placed somewhere here and also that one is equally running in profit so let's see if this the profit is going to be hit now if you're using funded next check this this one did not happen that is the problem of these brokers now this one did not happen it did not take this this uh, low I don't know why Ohanda decided that uh, it must take this funded next did not take that that high just check this date this is 4th November 2024 check that let's check F, uh, F that as you can see whatever I'm explaining so let me just go back to Oanda a little bit so my stop loss is uh, uh, this should be the overall take profit for at least a one to a one to five and the other one is already a one to six we'll be running a one to six so let's see how it goes this is on fourth so I'm uploading this video today this is Monday I'm uploading it today so this was a a 12.7 pip stop loss so it is like I'll, I'll beat you under because this problem has been really happening even in my back test it happens like that so this is the trade the trade was supposed to be somewhere here 12 point something seven in my broker it is even very low somewhere here so it was uh, around 12 sorry 12 point something yeah they're about and then this was second entry we get this close inwards and then we entered somewhere there for about uh, it was about eight pip stop loss but the retest what did i say we do when we get when we get these two closure you mark that like that and then you take at around half so I took it at exactly half no stop loss was hit and then as you can see it's already moving everything is already at break even so that is it uh, I'm uploading this video today so be on the tab